let's look at a problem uh, it's from uh, matrix find the values of lambda for which the equation ax equals to 0 has a unique solution and second one is more than one solution so first of all uh, we should uh, convert this into our understanding so unique solution basically in case of homogeneous means trivial solution that means the value of each variable is equal to 0 so trivial and more than uh, one solution that means uh, infinite solution so this is the case of infinite solution there is no case of no solution in uh, homogeneous so basically we need to find the value of lambda for trivial and infinite means non trivial okay now also we know the concept that for trivial solution rank for trivial we know that rank of a equals to number of variables let's say that n and for non trivial for non trivial the rank of a matrix is less than number of variables okay so uh, this is written ax equals to 0 and uh, so we can assume that there are three variables here as per uh, because uh, this is a so ax equals to 0 can uh, be written somewhere like this minus 1 2 1 3 minus 1 2 and 0 1 lambda into x let's suppose that x y z variables i'm taking equals to 0 okay so we can move ahead and convert this to equilion form so we have a equals to this now i'm start i will start using uh, operations but first make this positive one so for that i'm writing the first operation r1 as r1 divided by minus 1 or you can take at r1 as minus r1 so this is 1 minus 2 minus 1 this will be 3 minus 1 2 and this will be 0 1 and lambda now uh, this is already 0 that's a, a benefit and we want to make this 0 so r2 to r2 minus 3 times r1 so our a converts to 1 minus 2 I'm not speaking fast uh, just uh, going through this uh, quickly so this is 0 minus 1 uh, this will be plus 6 so this will give you 5 and then we have uh, 2 plus 3 so that will be 5 again so 0 1 lambda now you can see we can write r2 as r2 divided by 5 so r2 as r2 divided by 5 will give us 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 0 1 1 and 0 1 lambda now you can also see now that we can now uh, in the second row the first non-zero element is 1 so this is fine we don't need to change this but in the third row uh, we can make changes so make it 0 so r3 as r3 minus r2 simple operations in this particular question so a equals to 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 1 and 0 0 lambda minus 1 fine now for trivial that means unique for trivial uh, rank should rank of this matrix a should be equal to number of variables which is here 3 and for that for that rank if you want rank to be 3 then this can't be 0 if this is non zero then rank will uh, be 3 so lambda minus 1 not equal to 0 lambda not equal to 1 and for the more than one solution case that is the infinite case that is the non trivial case uh, we can uh, say that um, for non trivial for non trivial case rank of a should be less than 3 so for that, uh, for that, uh, I I will make uh, this lambda one. So one minus one is zero. This will be completely zero. So number of non-zero rows will then be two, which is equal to rank of matrix. So lambda minus one equals to zero. So lambda equals to one. So for the first, uh, I have lambda not equal to one, and for the second, I have lambda equals to one. Pretty simple question. Again. Uh, just use the basic ideas and uh, transformation. That's it from my side. Thanks and have a nice day.